Hey guys, um, welcome. Um, I'm going to show you something really cool in this video, which is um, that uh, suppose we have like a polynomial and let's keep it simple. So let's say that our polynomial P of X is equal to X squared. Then given three points on this polynomial or in fact any other polynomial that you want, um, but there is obviously a requirement, which is that if the polynomial you're trying to interpolate is an nth degree polynomial, then you need n plus one points. So for this quadratic, we need to know three points on it. But given those three points, then we can use Lagrange polynomials uh, defined through these LIs to interpolate, that is to get to this polynomial or any other polynomial, um, given that we have the required number of points. That is, we have for the nth degree polynomial, n plus one points. So given three points on this quadratic, we can figure out this quadratic um, using uh, these Lagrange polynomials here. Um, and this is how specifically. Um, specifically, we're going to say that P of X, our polynomial, uh, given these LIs and the points, is going to be the sum of the product of um, the LIs and the YIs. I don't like that L. So that's better for some reason. Much better. Okay. I hope you agree. Right there. So that's what we're going to claim as our polynomial. So we have a little bit of like, you know, algebra to do, but we'll get there. Now, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to pick three points that are um, a bit clustered, but um, that are going to make our calculation easy. So the three points I'm going to pick are 0, 0, 1, 1. I'm not good at arithmetic and I want to multiply by simple numbers. 2, 4. But you could have picked any three points on this quadratic. Now, let's say that this is x1, y1 x2, y2, and then x3, y3. Yeah? Cool. So I think we have everything we need to get started. Um, first, let's um, figure out what L1 is. So the first Lagrange polynomial. So L1 of x is going to be, um, by the way, let's first talk about the LIs before we calculate L1 or before we figure it out. Notice that Li of um, Xi is going to be 1. You'd have Xi minus Xj there and likewise here and yeah. Um, and then Li of Xj is 0. Notice that we're adding over Js and so in the numerator, you're, you'd have xj minus xj, so it's a product of a bunch of zeros. Um, and then finally, notice that each li is an nth degree polynomial, even though we have what appears to be a product of n plus 1 things. And so um, each li is nth degree because we skip uh, the binomial where i and j are equal, right? So for L3, for example, we skip... Um, x minus x3, right? Because that would mean i and j are equal, yeah? And you'll see this more clearly when I do um, L1 and L2 and so on. All right, so cool. So what does L1 look like? L1 is going to be x minus x2. Do you see how um, times x minus x3? Do you see how I skipped x minus x1? Because... Uh, if we had had x minus x1, that would mean that j is 1 and i is 1. And that's a problem, right? Because we said do the product when i and j aren't equal. So this is the numerator right here for L1, right? And the denominator is going to be um, x1. Now, I'm not going to do x1 minus x1, right? So I skip when i and j are equal, right? So I do x1 minus x2 um, times x1 minus x3. Okay, so uh, we have 
all of these guys x1 x2 labeled great so the numerator is x minus 1 x minus 2 and the denominator is 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 2 and we can simplify this negative 1 times negative 2 in the bottom right so positive 2 cool all right um, what next L2 you'll see in a second that we actually didn't need to calculate L1 um, because of that see if you already know what I'm talking about if not I'll explain in a second L2 of X is going to be uh, some separation there uh, is going to be um, right divided by um, x2 minus x1 and what does this look like the numerator is x minus 0 um, times x minus 2 so just x times x minus 2 and then the denominator is going to be um, what is the denominator going to be it's going to be 1 minus 0 which is 1 times 1 minus um, 2 so that's negative 1 so let's not write a denominator um, let's just put the negative right there and we're good yeah okay finally our last guy L3 L3 is going to be Yeah, that was a 3. And what is this going to be? This is going to be x minus 0 um, times x minus 1. And so I could just write that as x times x minus 1. And what is our denominator going to be? Our denominator is going to be x3 is 2, so 2 minus 0 times 2 minus 1, so that's just the 2 in the denominator, right? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, I think we've got everything we need, because we need L1, L2, L3, Y1, Y2, Y3, in order for us to figure out that sum, and we have all of those things. So, moment of truth, um, P of X, according to what we wrote here, is supposed to be L1 times Y1 plus L2 times Y2 plus L3, uh, that L. And now you see why I said earlier that we actually didn't need to calculate L1 after all, because my choice of Y1 was so good that it just makes it zero, right? Zero times whatever, right? Zero times L1 is going to be zero. So zero plus L2, um, we already figured out, is right here. So uh, negative uh, X times X minus 2, that's L2. And then we need to multiply to, uh, by y2, which is 1. So that's that. I won't bother writing times 1. Plus L3, which we just figured out, times y3. What is y3? 4. So we have 4 times L3, which is um, x times x minus 1 all over 2. Right? Okay, got it. Now we'll have 0. And then in this part, we'd have minus x squared plus 2x 
and then we have plus the two here and the four cancel into a two. So we'll have two times x, which is two x times x minus one. So this is going to be negative x squared plus two x and then plus two x squared and then minus two x. Oh look, boom, boom, negative x squared and uh, positive two x squared add to x squared as desired. Isn't that cool? And uh, what's really cool, um, even more than this, is the fact that you could do this for any polynomial as long as you have the required number of points to start, which is one more point than the degree of your polynomial. Um, one more point, not one more points. English lesson. Take care.